Hey there everyone, this is Michael Dugo, the Nootropic Reviewer, and during this video today, you're going to learn about five nootropic stacks that you can consider using depending on the scenario. Believe it or not, there are actually nootropics that you can use to enhance your creativity or to improve your motivation, but you wanna know which nootropics you would wanna use in that scenario and how much you should take and the potential side effects which you're gonna learn about. Nootropic stack number one is for boosting your levels of motivation, and that's going to be L-tyrosine and caffeine. And now with motivation, we wanna be mindful that most importantly, we're gonna have to work Work on the dopaminergic system as well as improve our energy levels, perhaps our alertness. Dopamine being a very important neurotransmitter that's going to be responsible for motivation. And one way that you can do that is by consuming this amino acid called L-tyrosine. When you ingest L-tyrosine, it boosts dopamine levels. And L-tyrosine is a natural compound that's actually found in chicken breast. It's found in egg whites. But when used independently of other amino acids, it will significantly boost dopamine levels. And you'll be able to notice it. You'll feel alert. You'll feel energized. You'll feel motivated. You'll have this like tunnel vision sort of focus that will allow you to be productive for about 90 minutes or so. And you can feel this effect even more so if you combine L-tyrosine along with caffeine. Caffeine is going to boost motivation. It's going to improve energy levels, alertness as well. So when you pair these two together, you can really feel energetic. A good dose for both these nootropics would be 750 milligrams of L-tyrosine and 100 milligrams of caffeine. Now, 750 milligrams of L-tyrosine is good enough for you to feel something. I found that when you use too much L-tyrosine, it's strange. You feel like very very focused, but you just don't know what to focus on. And with caffeine, more isn't always better. We know it's going to give us more energy, but most of the research does actually show us that when we're using caffeine around cognition and around productivity and motivation, we're going to be better off with smaller quantities throughout the course of the day. I'm somebody that typically takes 300 to 400 milligrams of caffeine in the course of the day. So I'll use about 100 milligrams for those times when I want to be motivated and then I'll use a little bit more pre-workout. And the major side effect that you should be mindful of with this nootropic stack is going to be increasing anxiety levels. You'll increase your anxiety levels when you take l -tyrosine. You're also going to increase anxiety levels when you're using caffeine. But for me, I feel a little bit anxious, but I'm still motivated at the same time. So the pros are going to outweigh the cons. But if you're somebody that's prone to anxiety or you really just can't be productive when you're in a state of a little bit of anxiety, then I may consider staying clear of this stack. And the second nootropic stack is for improving our creativity. And this is obviously a little bit different than the first nootropic stack. The first nootropic stack around motivation actually may in fact blunt creativity, whereas this nootropic stack is comprised of lion's mane mushroom and ashwagandha. Lion's mane mushroom is a very unique nootropic supplement. This is a natural supplement. Again, it's a mushroom. I've been using it for many years and something I notice is that I start asking different questions. My self-talk is different. My beliefs are different. I'm finding that I'm generally more curious about everything or curious about like people or situations that I may have not been prior. I prefer taking the eight to one dual extract from Nootropics Depot at a serving of 500 milligrams. And ashwagandha, pretty reliable. You can see it as because there's a lot of research that backs its effects, not only when it comes to relieving stress, but also for things like boosting testosterone levels. I've talked about ashwagandha more during this video right over here. So the way you're going to use these two nootropics is to improve your creativity because they're going to relieve stress. And the specific extract that I enjoy most with ashwagandha is called KSM 66. And so the dosage protocol would be taking 500 milligrams. Uh, don't be alarmed if you can't find the specific extract, whether it's the eight to one dual extract with lion's mane or the KSM 66 with ashwagandha. You can still get other extracts or you can get the root form that is okay. You will still see the benefits. It's just that the benefits may not be as pronounced. And the major side effect that you should be mindful of with this nootropic stack is demotivation, especially with ashwagandha. A lot of users report ingesting ashwagandha feeling great for the first week, but then the second or third week, they feel somewhat demotivated. And I myself too feel this way, so I'm a little bit careful about the way that I ingest ashwagandha. The third nootropic stack is for boosting our levels of confidence. And how we're going to do this is by improving our baseline mood and taking nootropics that would allow us to have more belief in ourselves. And the three nootropics that may be responsible for this would be taking 5-HTP, Nupep, and by taking caffeine. 5-HTP works to improve your levels of serotonin. Serotonin is the neurotransmitter that's related directly to mood and also has a lot of important roles around sleep and around energy levels. One thing I don't really like about 5-HTP is you can look at it like, like putting a bandage over your problems. Let's say if you're in a bad mood, you can take some 5-HTP, like take 100 milligrams, you're gonna feel a lot better. However, we know that we're gonna be better off actually building our resilience by learning to de-stress in other ways, maybe taking a break or going for a nap. So 5-HTP though, it does make for a good alternative. Let's say if you want that boost of confidence to allow you to go about your day. Nupept is a great nootropic around productivity. It doesn't stimulate you like caffeine would, but it makes you laser focused at accomplishing your goals. That all the times when I've ingested more Nupept than I should have were times when I improved my business or I did something that really helped me with my career. You know Nupept is working because it'll make you disregard your social life and personal interests altogether and just will make you productive. So the dosage protocol for this nootropic stack to boost your confidence would be taking 100 milligrams of 5-HTP, taking 20 milligrams of Nupept, 
prescribed and taking 100 milligrams of caffeine. However, I would not take this nootropic snack every day. Uh, 20 milligrams of Nupept is considered a pretty high dose. I wouldn't recommend that you exceed taking over 30 milligrams per day. And this nootropic snack doesn't have any major side effects that you should be too alarmed about. If anything with Nupept, sometimes people experience feeling a little bit lightheaded or their mood actually dropping. Those individuals may just be better off without Nupept. But with this nootropic snack, unfortunately, just some people may not really feel it working. It is what it is. Some nootropics just don't work with people and Nupept is especially one of those. Nootropic snack number four and one of my favorites would be the nootropic snack to fight off fatigue. And the two nootropics responsible for that are taking Rhodiola rosea and Bacopa mineri. These are two adaptogenic herbs. So we're looking at natural supplements that will boost your productivity as a result of helping you be more clear minded, especially with Rhodiola rosea. I would actually rate this nootropic 10 out of 10. I've talked about it in this video over here and I rated a number of nootropics from a scale of one to 10 during this video. Cause what I like about Rhodiola rosea is that it allows me to have this clear mindedness that I would get from taking a nap. So I call Rhodiola rosea a nap in a pill and actually suppresses your appetite as well and allows you to go about the second half of your day as productive as you were the first half of the day. And Bacopa Mineri, I would describe it as Rhodiola rosea to a lesser extent when it comes to fighting off fatigue, but something neat it does is boost cognition and helps you with your memory. And in this study over here, they actually had med students ingest Bacopa Mineri and they clearly found results afterwards concluding that there was an improvement in their memory. And I've definitely experienced this as well. Once I started taking Bacopa Mineri, I couldn't really tell if it was boosting my memory, but after I took it out of my stack, I could clearly tell that my memory and my verbal fluency and word recall wasn't as it was when I was taking Bacopa Mineri. So for that reason, I take both these nootropics every single day. And the great thing is, is that I haven't really found any side effects. It's like I'm using them and I'm getting the same benefits that I had experienced from day one. The dosage protocol for this nootropic stack would be taking 500 milligrams of Rhodiola rosea and 500 milligrams of Bacopa Mineri. It doesn't really matter too much which brand or vendor you get it from. I've noticed all forms of it pretty much work. I wouldn't go over 500 milligrams. In fact, if you're just getting into nootropics and you're getting into using these two, then you may want to consider starting off at 300 milligrams. Uh, they aren't too stimulating yet at the same time, I wouldn't use them before bed. I do feel a little bit aroused. Like, so I would use Rhodiola rosea latest, maybe seven o'clock. Nootropic snack number five is for clarity. Let's say you're sitting behind a desk. You need to do work independently. You need to be level headed, maybe analytical. This is a great nootropic snack. And the nootropic snack is paracetam alpha GPC and ashwagandha. Parastam is one of the most popular nootropics out there. Now we're looking at synthetic nootropics. So parastam is not natural. You can look at it, unfortunately, like a man-made nootropic. However, it's been around for many, many years now. And there's a lot of research backing how effective it is specifically with elder people or people that have some sort of brain trauma. Now, somewhat controversial, will it work with young people like myself? I would say yes. Other people may say yes. However, a lot of people just don't notice anything working. But parastam is one of the first nootropics that I had ever used and it's really done great great things for me. I still use it every single day. It helps with memory, thinking, better learning, better planning skills. I was able to achieve fairly good grades with the help of Prastam. And it's subtle, but it is noticeable. You will wake up with a little bit more motivation. So it's a nootropic supplement that you need to be a bit patient with. So with this nootropic stack, you really have to use it every single day. But I do personally see that as somewhat safe. Alpha GPC is a form of choline. Choline is a nutrient that's found exclusively pretty much in egg yolks. And choline is so important, not only for learning, but also for execution. And it's just a critical nutrient for all things cognition. And then we have ashwagandha as part of the stack because ashwagandha goes well with both these nootropics because they can provide with them a little bit of anxiety, especially parastam. So ashwagandha will help you just to level off that because parastam does boost motivation, whereas ashwagandha will help you to have this like smoother level of energy for you to have that clarity. So the dosage protocol would be taking one gram of parastam, 150 milligrams of alpha GPC and taking 500 milligrams of ashwagandha KSM 66 extract. And if you want to boost your energy levels a little bit, you can consider adding 100 milligrams of caffeine. Just the only problem with that is sometimes when you ingest caffeine, it actually offsets your judgment a little bit. And the major side effect that you should watch out for would be lightheadedness with the nootropic stack, especially with alpha GPC. Some people don't respond well to it. And if that is the case, then uh, you would want to consider taking another form of choline like CDP choline or choline by tartrate. Would you make any adjustments to any of these nootropic stacks? Be sure to comment below and do subscribe if you did get value from this video and drop a like. And if you want to chat with me one-on-one, -on -one, you can do so over on Patreon or send me a direct message on Instagram and be sure to visit our Discord server, which has a 24 seven chat room. We're answering questions in a time sensitive fashion. I thank you for your interest in nootropics and look forward to seeing you next time.